please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Howdy do, buckaroos! Welcome to a Friday edition of JAG TV. I'm Abby. And I'm Liam. Let's start off with a fact in honor of Women's History Month. When Madam Walker started her company in 1906, there were very few women who were in business. She and Helena Rubinstein and Elizabeth Arden were women who were all in the same boat. They were trying to develop an industry. People didn't even take them seriously. She traveled door to door, town to town, teaching individuals in churches and in people's parlors and wherever she could. And she could see that ultimately it really wasn't as much about the hair care product, though that was important in an era when women didn't have access to those products, but it also was very much about empowering women and about helping women become economically independent. So the more she trained women and the more she taught them to train other women, she was developing a national and really international network of women who were Walker agents. Those women could see not only were they able to transform themselves, but they also were able to make money that they could contribute to their churches, to pay tuition for their children to go to school, to buy homes. And this then became really the goal. When I look at her life, I think it's fabulous that she became a millionaire. Stunning that she became a millionaire. But for me, the more lasting legacy is that she empowered people and that she used her money to make a difference in her community and to show other people their ability to make a difference in their communities. Thanks, now let's get into our announcements for today. Are you looking for a summer job? There's a job fair tomorrow from 3 to 5.30 p.m. at the Germantown Community Recreation Center. The Board of Elections, along with our SGA, will be outside the cafeteria today at lunch to register students to vote and to recruit poll workers. Poll workers can make up to $750 or 75 SSL hours. Today is the last day to check it out, so come by to learn more. If you are interested in taking the learner's permit test next Tuesday, make sure to turn in the form no later than today at 2.30 p.m. Paso Fuerte will be having open practices March 11th, 12th, and the 13th, starting at 2.45 and lasting until 5. This will be for anyone interested in trying out for the team. The tryouts for the Paso Fuerte dance team will be Thursday, March 14th, after school, starting at 2.45 in the dance studio. For more information, visit their Instagram at nwhs.pasoforte. We'll be right back. We'll be traveling to Italy Spring Break 2025, April 11th to the 19th. See the Colosseum and the Sistine Chapel in Rome. Experience a gondola ride and St. Mark's Square in Venice. Visit Ponte Vecchio in Florence. Experience the ancient village of Assisi and encounter the Juliet statue at the Romeo and Juliet balcony in Verona. Just a few of the exciting places we will experience along with Italian cuisine and of course shopping during your free time. This nine day lifetime experience is all inclusive. To find out more, attend a lunch meeting which will be held April 6th in room 181. If you cannot make the meeting but are still interested, see Mr. Meriday in room 181. Welcome back. Now for our Friday college and career updates. Attention class of 2025. On Tuesday, March 19th, Northwest will be taking buses on a field trip to the NACAC College Fair. You can go for free. Register and turn in your permission form to the College Career Information Center by March 12th. Eight new scholarships have been published in the most recent JAG Scholarship Apply Now Bulletin. Download it from the College Career Financial Aid and Scholarships webpage. March scholarships specifically for Montgomery County seniors include the Delta Sigma Theta sorority will be with the Montgomery County Alumni Chapter 2024 Scholarship Program. The deadline to apply is March 15th. We also have the Zeta Phi Beta sorority scholarship with a value of $1,000. A 2.5 minimum GPA is required. Seniors, the deadline to apply is March 15th as well. Additionally, we have the Joshua Snyder Memorial Foundation Scholarship with $2,500 awards. The deadline to apply is March 22nd. And finally, we have the NAACP scholarship, 3.0 or higher GPA required. The deadline to apply is March 22nd. Thanks, hope to see you there. Now let's celebrate our birthdays for today and over the weekend.
And with that, we are done with JAG TV for today. Follow us at NWJAG TV. I've been Liam. And I've been Abby. See you next week.